Hello everyone, welcome to Dada's Food Crave Kitchen where I'm going to be featuring cooking, beauty, lifestyle and more. In this video, I am going to show you how I make this delicious white benechin aka jollof rice the Gambian Senegalese way. I also make a delicious sauce on the side. This is when you cannot make the rang habisab. It goes well with fish benechin, chicken benechin, and beef benechin. It also goes well with the white benechin and the red benechin. In my previous video, I mentioned that you can make benechin red, you can make it white without the tomato. If you guys are interested in seeing how I make this delicious white chicken benechin, please stay tuned. And without any further ado, let's get cooking. So these are the ingredients we're going to be using for our white benechin. I'm going to try to explain as much detail as I can in this recipe. So please pay attention. So you have your cassava, your yeet your habanero pepper cabbage pumpkin as you can see i still leave the skin on there carrot and eggplant all those ingredients are going to be um boiled and taken out these ingredients right here is for my knockos i am going to blend garlic one two onions one medium tomato fresh tomato habanero pepper, scallions, anise seed, and half of a uh, bell pepper, and some jimbo. And this seasoning right here, this ingredients right here is for my sauce that you're gonna put on the side. Like I said, if you do not have rangha bisab, you can alternate it with this sauce to dip on the side or put on the side of your rice. So I have the olives, the pickled onions and garlic and two onions scallions habanero pepper and half of a bell pepper that's what you need to make the sauce on the side i also added some sweet little bell peppers on it too so if you want to successfully make this white benetine it's very important that you pay attention to all the ingredients that I'm using to make the benechin. I am going to use some adobo seasoning. You can use salt if you like and some black pepper. I'm going to be seasoning my chicken with vinegar. I've already washed the chicken with salt and vinegar soaked for half an hour and then wash it with salt and vinegar. If you guys want me to make a video of how I wash this chicken, it was very dirty when I bought it. I mean it has a lot of fat in it i'm also going to be using vegetable oil and a broken rice if you can find broken rice rice beet to make jollof rice or benechin perfect it's so delicious to make benechin these ingredients right here i am going to use garlic habanero pepper parsley and one jimbo to stuff the chicken in gambia we call it rough you can make these ingredients also to when you're making fish benetting to stuff it in the chicken or the fish. I am also going to be using okra in my benetting. So now I'm going to blend my parsley and my garlic and my habanero pepper 
and Jimbo into my Asanka. I want to give a shout out to my cousin Jessica Saul for getting this Asanka for me. If you're watching, this is for you. Thank you so much for the Asanka. If you cannot find Asanka in a Ghanaian store, you can simply just blend it in a blender. So now I'm blending the parsley, the garlic, the onions, the habanero pepper into my Asanka. Like I said, you could use a blender. I'm also going to add a lot of black pepper. This is going to be stuffed in the chicken. I'm going to make an incision in the chicken and I'm going to put this seasoning in there. So what I'm going to do first, I am going to season my chicken with black pepper. Simply black pepper. Then I'm going to pour some vinegar on my chicken and I'm going to add some adobo seasoning which is mixed with different spice garlic salt and other spice ginger and all that other stuff if you don't have adobo you can just simply use black pepper salt and the vinegar so now what you're going to do is make an incision on the chicken and rub the rough in there we call it rough which is the garlic the habanero pepper the jimbo blended in the chicken and make sure you put some under the skin it's very important make some incision and then put some of the seasoning under the skin of the chicken so that whenever you fry it or bake it or whatnot you can have every bite of this seasoning in the chicken So before I start anything else, I am going to blend all my ingredients. This ingredients that I'm blending right here is for the sauce, the side sauce for the white benichin. Like I said, if you do not have rangabisab, this sauce goes well as an alternative to rangabisab. This is the sauce that is going to go with the pickled onions and the olives. I also added some adobo seasoning and some black pepper and this is how it looks like. And this is a pickled onion. It's like blend. It's soaked in vinegar. It's so like tangy and sour. So I'm also going to use the olive to put in this sauce for the side sauce for the benichin it's alternative to rang habisab it goes really really well and this ingredients right here is my knockers that this is the ingredients i'm going to blend to start making my benichin aka jollof rice first i am going to brown my cassava you have to brown your cassava first before anything else then i am going to fry my chicken make sure when you're frying the chicken put the skin downward first so that all the seasoning that you put under the skin will not come off so you want to make sure the chicken is face downwards under the skin so that none of the seasoning that you put under the skin and the incision will not escape in the oil it's very important that you do that and once the chicken is all browned, this is how it looks like. You take it out, put it aside. If you really want to come out making a perfect benichin, you want to watch this video to the end. And now before, I'm going to put the yeat first in the hot oil. And kind of fry it to give the benichin a nice aroma to it and an authentic taste to it and then i am gonna add my fry my blended knockers and then meanwhile i'm gonna in another part i'm gonna make my my sauce on the side for the white benichin so i'm gonna gonna be going back and forth between the two sauces one for the benichin sauce and one for the benichin itself so I added one Jimbo and Maggi, Maggi sauce aroma and some black pepper. Then I'm checking on the other sauce again. This sauce doesn't require a lot of oil. 
you just need a little bit of oil to make that side sauce for the benichin. Now in my main sauce, I'm gonna add bay leaves and again, back and forth, checking on the other sauce in a low heat. I'm gonna cook it until it's really fried and all the onions is done. And then I'm gonna add my pickle onions and my olives in the sauce. You wanna keep stir frying it until the onions is really cooked. Like I said, it doesn't require a lot of oil at all. You're not making stew, it's just a side sauce. The meanwhile, I check on my other sauce for the benichin. You wanna stir fry it until it's really caramelized, until it's really, really thick like so. And then you're gonna add water in the pot. So once I add the water in the pot, now I am going to add all my vegetables, my carrot, my cabbage, eggplant, my pumpkin, habanero pepper, and my cassava, which is the yuca. And I'm gonna add some salt to taste. As you can see, I did not peel the skin off the pumpkin because it's easily breaking in the pot. So I did not take the skin off. So now, meanwhile, I'm almost to the end of making my sauce for the side for the white benichin. I'm going to add some sweet relish into my sauce. <clears throat> this is optional. You don't have to do that. But this will give the sauce a really, really sweet and tangy taste to it. It's almost like the same, like I said, you're eating rang habisab alongside with your benichin. If you never try this type of sauce alongside with your benichin, please do so and let me know when you try it. Now I'm gonna add my jahato, which we call in Gambia, it's called bitter tomato. We call it jahato in Gambia. Then I am going to add my okra. Now you're gonna cover the pot and let the vegetable cook until they're well done. Then you're gonna take them out. And this is the alongside sauce um, for my benichin. It's ready, it looks pretty. And that's how it looks like. So now that my vegetables are all cooked, I am going to take them out. You do not leave it in the pot. You're gonna take all the vegetable out, the carrot, cabbage, eggplant, jahato, which is the bitter tomato, and the okra, take everything out. Now you're gonna put your chicken in the benichin sauce and cook it for like five to six minutes so that it will be a little tender because remember you fry the chicken and it's a little hard after you fry it. You wanna add it into the sauce so that it will soften a little bit. Then I am going to now put my rice. I put my rice in the microwave for like six minutes and microwave it for six minutes before I can add it in the pot. If you can find this broken rice perfect for aka um, benichin aka jollof rice then i added some salt and put a parchment paper over the pot so that i don't have any excess water going into the benichin so now you cover the pot for 25 minutes in a medium heat let it do its thing and then you come back and check it turn it and then you put another pat parchment paper on top of the pot then cover it and let it cook for another 20 minutes And then after 20 minutes, you check on your benichin and turn it. Make sure the rice is well done. It's not half and half and it's not potter potter. And voila, this is how the benichin came out looking like. I have all my vegetable there, my chicken, and I have the rice, the white benichin, aka jollof rice, chebu ganar. And then I have the alongside sauce for the benichin. And if you are new to my channel and you like what you've seen, this is the first time you're tuning in, I want to thank you for stopping by and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell because that's the only way you're going to know when I upload a video. And I want to thank all my returning subscribers and all my new subscribers for watching my video. 
and this is how the white benetine look like in gambia we call it chebuer white benetine without the tomato aka yes jollof rice you can make it without the tomato in gambia we cook two different type of jollof rice the white one and the red one you can make it with fish chicken or beef and congratulations if you have watched this far you have made yourself a delicious white benetine senegambia style and this is the sauce alongside sauce that i'm putting alongside the rice like i said if you don't have this green sauce which i already have a video on it check it out if you do not have the green sauce you can make this white sauce alongside it almost tastes the same because it's sour and it will make you have great appetite and very tasty when you're eating the benetchin and voila this is how the benetchin looks like and i thank you all for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and share with your family and friends i appreciate every one of you bye bye ta-ta